What up, Mr. Cartoon? We're right here in my studio. Big project. We just got the uh, Brinks truck in. This thing's a big old box, man. It's, it's crazy. It's actually a beautiful canvas. It's kind of a first of its kind, you know, especially for a promo of a movie. Did the trailer a bunch of times. Uh, we've been doing sketches, going back and forth with the studios. And they're real open-minded. And we uh, came up with something that we both love. Sony Pictures presents Armored. You're watching the making of the armored truck. So for today, our plan is to start prepping the vehicle, paint it black, go through the vehicle, figure out how we're gonna make the back bumper, how we're gonna make the front bumper. I brought in another graffiti writer, a tumor, to help me in, in this big project. This project could easily take a month, but we got a week and a half to do it. So bear with us, check it out. Basically the pain part is no brainer. That's what we do, you know? This project's gonna be different is once everything is painted black on the vehicle, we actually shoot the wheels black and we tape everything up, the windows, etc. We start freestyling it really, you know? It's not, uh, use a projector or any of these like fancy things. You just get some spray paint, look at the sketch, and take flight on the thing. I think times are changing, man. I think the people that work at these big corporations, they're okay with people being graffiti writers at the base of the, of the life, you know what I mean? Um, that's why this stuff looks dope. That's why people relate to it. I think that's why you can go to a college and people will pay attention to it. You know, I know a lot of ex-graffiti writers that are professional artists now and they're doing movies and TV commercials and movie posters. And Airbrush is uh, an instrument I've been using since I was a kid, since I was about 16, for mainly automotive art. I don't use the uh, airbrush on walls, really, you know, it's uh, something that I'd use more for professional projects, you know. So it's real freehand, it's real open, it's loose. It's, uh, it's real energetic, it gets a lot of motion and uh, fluidity. The dope thing about this is, is it's keeping street culture alive, it's keeping the whole movement going of freehand artwork on vehicles. You know, a lot of Companies would probably just vinyl wrap the thing with pictures from the movie, you know. The back of the truck, you know, we had to think of something that was going to be crazy for people to walk up and, and, and make them uh, either start laughing or, or get nervous or make them go crazy, you know, it was kind of the goal. Ten guys took off on writing their name on it, and just, you know, kind of wrecking the inside and really make it look lived in. Fortunately for us and unfortunately for them, a bunch of the guys here did a bunch of research and actually went and sat in cells for a couple of years and getting that uh, prior knowledge to be able to use to make the armored Sony Pictures movie come alive. So, But at the end, you know, it's funny to see people kick back and watch a flat screen plasma that we put in so we can show the trailer. It's gonna be a type of one of those things where more people on MySpace is them standing in front of it, fronting like it's theirs, you know what I mean? Or... It can go to a car show. I'll take it to any car show and just let it sit there and let people trip out on it, you know? So when they see that armored truck bend the corner and come down the block, they're gonna know that that's a Sony Pictures armored truck and the Mr. Cartoon did it.